101 annual financial statement. Uh, in this table, here display the uh, the payment for each item and each season, and we will sum of this uh, payment for each uh, item, and then calculate the profit and loss for each season. Okay, let's try the first. The first question, I uh, would like to uh, modify the first row, it's a title. I would like to merge the cell and drink to fill the area from the A1 to G1. Okay, so first uh, we need to highlight uh, this A1 to G1, uh, this range. Uh, okay, then where can I find out the merge cell and the drink to the feet? I should be inside the home. Here we have a, a alignment. You can click in dialog of this alignment, and you can see in the alignment we cannot just uh, alignment the tags. We can have uh, some control for this tags. For example, you like a merge cell, merge cell, then all this cell will be uh, merged to just one cell. And string to fill that means you will uh, resize your font and uh, to fit this size, uh, this area. So I will check this one. And next, the task alignment uh, should be the horizontal center and the vertical center. OK, so here it's a horizontal. You should change it to be the center. And the vertical, it's a center too. Both this center and the merge cell and the string to fit. And we will click OK. All right. So original, I will show you the original. It's a, a big size, and after you did this one, uh, it will fit into the uh, from the A1 to G1. But actually, this is just for the A1 in this cell because we already merged this cell. Okay. Uh, next step, uh, we like to uh, calculate the sum value in the area uh, G4 to G8. That means this one G4 to G8. Uh, this range. All right, uh, we need to use a sum function to do this. OK, so we can back to the uh, G4, place your cursor on the G4, and you can click here in the Home tab. Editing here, I have a sum. So you can just click the sum. It ranges from the C4 to F4. Yeah, that's correct. So you can uh, press the Enter here. And the other cells, uh, G5, 6, 7, 8, will be the same. So uh, we can copy this formula. You don't need to uh, do it one by one. And how we do that? Just press your cursor uh, at the field handle. It will be at the right bottom corner. And you will see uh, the cursor will be different. OK, original like this. And when you press your cursor at the field handle, and it will be like a cross. And you just drag and down. And he will copy this formula, and not just copy the formula. Uh, he will copy the format. All right. And then we'll check if the uh, range correct. I will place my cursor at the G5, and look. It's from uh, inside the parameter. It's from the uh, C5 to F5. OK, that's correct. And that's the first method. Uh, we can finish this uh, uh, sum value. And maybe we can try the other. I will delete this. Or you need to just highlight all this range from the G4 to G8 and just click this sum. OK, and you can finish uh, just one step. OK, I think that would be easier. And the third question would like to calculate the profit and loss for each season. And here we will look at this. Um, the first item actually is the income, and the other is the expenditure. Also, how we calculate this uh, profit and loss, we need a sum of this uh, expenditure and use the income minus all this sum of the uh, expenditure. OK, so I will place my cursor here. And first, I will use, uh, uh, because it's uh, not, uh, not just a function, so you need to uh, enter the equal sign. That means it's a formula. OK, then I will click the uh, income, use income minus all of this. But we can click uh, each one cell. But here, the question ask uh, use the sum function. OK, so then I will keep going, type sum. 
After you type some, he will show you the hint, then you can double click the sum where and highlight from the uh, C5 to C7, uh, C8. Okay. That means you will use uh, your income minus all this summation. All right. So that's the first seasons of profit and loss. And how about the others? I think that would be the same. So you still can use the uh, uh, field handler uh, to drag to the uh, F9. Okay, that's the third question. And next, we like a uh, save the format for this uh, summation and the profit and loss G4 to G8, C9 to F9. Uh, would be like this format. If they are negative, you can show the red color. So first, uh, we will highlight this range, uh, G4 to G8, and uh, I will press the control key to highlight the C9 to F9. Um, this format, is, uh, if they are negative, would be the uh, red color. So we will back to the home tab in the number here, and just get inside the number. And here, it's a, a, a style for this number. And here, we like to choose the negative number. Uh, should be the red color and this style, so you you should like uh, you should choose this one, the second, okay. But actually here we don't have anything change because we don't have a negative uh, number. Maybe let's try if I change one. For example, I change this to be uh, just one more zero here. That's more uh, expense. Let's see, it's negative, so. Uh, he will show you the uh, red color. Okay, I will undo. And last question, I uh, would like uh, um, merge the cell from the A9 to B9. That means this two cell. Uh, I would like to merge this two cell to be the one and center this text horizontally. So it will be like this in the center. Okay. Uh, first, uh, I will highlight these two cells and uh, uh, get inside the alignment here again uh, because we need to check this merge cell and uh, uh, center the text horizontally. So here the horizontally should be the center. You need to change this to item. Okay, then we finish this. It will be like the sample. And then you need to insert a dash in the cell G9. That means this uh, cell. And of course you need to center the text horizontally. All right. So I will place my cursor here, and I will type dash by our cell. And of course, because original is a uh, left, it's a right alignment. And all you need to do just uh, change to be the center text here. Okay, then that would be like uh, the sample. I feel the dash. All right, then we finish the 101.